Dear student, let us learn today one very important function of Excel that is VLOOKOFF, HLOOKOFF and HEXLOOKOFF. So what is the definition of VLOOKOFF? VLOOKOFF perform vertical lookoff to find the data in columns within a table. HLOOKOFF performs horizontal lookoff to find the data in rows within a table. HLOOKOFF is a modern function supporting both vertically and horizontal lookoff within enhanced flexibilities, right? So HLOOKOFF is important, right? So if you if you don't know VLOOKOFF, HLOOKOFF, you will manage with HLOOKOFF. So guys, let us learn in details about VLOOKOFF, HLOOKOFF and more details about HLOOKOFF. As I said, HLOOKOFF is, is very important function, right? So I'll make you through in details like uh, what is VLOOKOFF, then HLOOKOFF, then HLOOKOFF, right? So what is VLOOKOFF, right? So as I said, it's a vertical lookoff. So what are the syntax? So you have to put VLOOKOFF, the lookoff value, the value you want to search for, table area, the range of cells that contains the data, column index, the column number in the table for which you retrieve the values, and uh, range lookoff for a true, you have to approximate match for false for the exact match. So guys, let us learn what is HLOOKOFF. HLOOKOFF is a horizontal lookoff, and uh, you have to put equal to HLOOKOFF, and look of value the value to search for the first row and table error the range of cells contains data row index number the row number in the table from which you retrieve the value and as like said range of, range look of is a true approximate match or false right so let us look in details about hex look of hex look of is important function i already told hex look of is a excel's modern replacement for the older look of function like vlookup and h lookup right it allow to search uh, search the range of error for a match or return corresponding value from another range. And unlike VLOOKOFF, it works both vertically and horizontally and support approximate matches, right? So guys, so this is, you know, lookup value, the value for uh, the, you have to put X lookup, then put to the value to search for and lookup error, the range to search and and the return error, the range to value forms, and other optional and search mode, you can put these are all options, right? So I'll give you details in Excel, right? So if you if you want, okay. So you want to do a VLOOKOFF, right? So if you want to do a VLOOKOFF, you type VLOOKOFF equal to VLOOKOFF, right? After typing VLOOKOFF, you just type the value which you want to search for. Here in my case, I want to search for H2. So I put H2 is my uh, is is my uh, you know lookup value. Then I put to table error. Table error is A1 2 E6. I put then I put equal to and then put five because A2 for E the column index number is five. Then I put true and false for approximate. Is, if you look for approximate match, you put true and false right for exact match right. So like likewise, I have to put X lookup also. Hex lookup, if you do hex lookup, you no need to select whole range of era, table era. You just select column A and column E because my lookup value, my lookup and table era is, uh, my lookup era is uh, column A and my result era is column E. So you just select uh, both the column and you get the result. You can see hex lookup has three and table, then I put the result era. You will get hex lookup. Guys, so let us learn this function is working in hex lookup or not in row level to find out like you, you have to prove it, right? So I so let us look like you just select the era uh, lookup value that is Friday and then your era then you put column in the row index number and then equal, right? So definitely it will not work. It will give error. Why? Because because hex lookup only look the uh, value error and result error it will not look hold the tables because there is no column index number or row index number it is only look where is your look of error and where, which area you want to look and corresponding with which area which error you want to get the result right whether it is maybe a column error or it may row error here in the case if you look here in the case in our case here our uh, row number is 8 and is a error we are going to look for the data and where is the result error is the row number 9 so you know the correct function uh, correct function is different which uh, i am going to i am typing now 
you know the correct function is uh, you know x lookup h10 row number 8 and your result error is row number 9 it will give you the exact you know result so see check like, uh, how how it is work how it is uh, how the function is work here right so it is done now right so you get uh, the result right so next let us go h look of how the result is coming right h look of you know your look of value will be again your uh, uh, h11 right and what is your error error is a whole table it will be a8 to f8 and you know what is your row index because if you look first row is my eighth row with your first row, you will consider your first row and your second row where the result is there is a nine so your row index number will be two and then you put uh, you know as for your math uh, accuracy you can put uh, true or false then you will get the result guys i will tell you guys is very very important you should know x look of in details thank you all watching for my video have a great day